What's going on, guys? We're back with MLB 23, Game 3 against the Phillies. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. John Shambi and Chris Singleton with you, and we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two, and regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so... We should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to roll. And on the mound for Philadelphia in this one, Zach Wheeler. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure He's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners Ooh. in scoring position. Oh Most guys, they get a little tight. They start to aim the baseball. But for some reason, he gets looser. The ball comes out of his hand with more life. And he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Got him. Oh. For the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Connor Joe, the next to hit. And first offering is fouled off. In the air, right field. Harper ranging after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Two the outs, bases empty. Brian Reynolds Brian. here. Zach Wheeler, who was the sixth overall pick in 2009 by the Giants out of high school. He's from Smyrna, Georgia. Oh, Swing and a miss. And that's strike one. Oh, and there's one. a ball. One and one. The wide to kick the pitch. That one ripped. There we go. Come on, baby. Get out of here. And it hits the top of the wall. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Here's O'Neill Cruz. Yeah. Boom. Throws out to first. Out number three. So one left for Pittsburgh. And now it's the Phillies' turn. No score. Back after this on the show. Back at Citizens Bank Park, today's starting pitcher, Casey Mize. And this will be a tough test for him. Pitching on the road has not been that kind to his numbers. Well, I think he's just got to trick himself mentally and put himself in a comfort level like he does at home. I know it's not the same being on the road as away from home in terms of being able to have a routine and be consistent with it, but this game is so much mental, and he's going to have to find a way to play a mind game with himself to move through this ball game and get a W. Next pitch misses, and a count to a wall. Just Whoa, off the inside bad. edge. Well, he's yeah, so great man. about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. 
Joe makes the catch and has one gone. So here's the Phillies DH. Oscar Gonzalez. Four for eight in the series so far. That's in there. Strike one. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Jay did. Now we'll look oh. down to first. Nope, he held back. Righty to the plate. Oh. And that's downstairs and outside. <laughs> And he hits a ground ball right side. Steps on oh. first for the out. That's good. Cool. Batting third. The right fielder. One. And Harper. now here is Harper. One of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Sawinski brings good it bad. in for the third out. Down quickly. Welcome back. Digging Leading in, it's the speedy hit. outfielder, Jack Sawinski. Jack Sawinski. Wheeler, back to work. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Makes the grab, one down. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to hit. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Swings and misses. Going one. Wheeler, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a sinker, a curve, and he works in a changeup. And that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. So digging in, Rodolfo Castro. He's going, the he's kick going. and the pitch. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. Yeah. Safe at second, yeah. and that yeah. was not close. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on them and see if you can steal the back, get in the scoring position. Cooper, the runner at second with one away. Going, Here's the pitch. Going. Runner goes again. Ball. There's a ball. Get out. To third. Uh -oh. Save. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. It wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. Here's a one-two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Kicks and fires. Bounce to the right. Biggio. Tosses to first. And the first run of the game comes across. One on the board. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Hey. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield. On, and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. That's ripped. Oh, Base yeah. hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise he put a great swing on it. Now batting key Brian Hayes. That to right. Harper makes the play, and that will end the inning. One run in the inning, but they leave two. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Pirates one, and the Phillies nothing. Back here in Philadelphia, and here is C.J. Crone. The first baseman, C.J. Crone. The wind of the pitch. 
And there's the strike. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction uh, in the call. Into the outfield base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. He got that front foot down, Not and good. pitch recognition was on point. Pretty impressive for an 0-2 count. Brandon Marsh in the box now. Takes strike one. Next pitch misses inside. And now it's even one and one. In the air, left side. Sawinski under it. One away. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. The second baseman. Ground ball right side could be two. Cooper to second. Returns to the play, guy. And that'll do it. Way to go. In the inning, but nothing more than that. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Pirates one and the Phillies nothing. Set for the start of the inning at the plate for Pittsburgh. Connor Joe. Wheeler back to work. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Joe batting second in today's lineup, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 325 in his last 10 games. Right-hander kicks deals. In the air to left on, center. Baby. Phillips Go. on the move uh. to the alley. Makes the grab on the run. One down. Now batting. The center fielder. Brian. Brian Reynolds. Reynolds. The next pirate to hit. Doubled in his first A.B. This one smoked out to left. Uh. Hauls it in. And there's two away. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. There's a swing and a drive. Come on, baby. Get out of here. Get out of here. And out of here. Yeah. Way to go, Cruz. The Where Rockets won the right home run number 10 of the year. And they add a run. It's 2-0. This guy's velocity, a changeup, is really a break for a hitter. He got a BP fastball, didn't move a whole lot, and he absolutely tattooed it. Base is empty with two away. Up next for the Pirates, Jack Sawinski. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Left-hand hitter waits. And he grounds one to the right side. Biggio sends it to first. And that is that. One in the inning for the Pirates on this solo homer. And it's two zip. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Philadelphia, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Garrett Stubbs. And the pitch. Foul ball. Mize, a 6-3 righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a sinker, a splitter, and he occasionally uses a curve. Foul ball still 0-2. That's in the dirt. Oh. 
The wide, the kick, and the one two. Base knock right field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. He went up there and got it with two strikes. I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where you could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So oh, nice boy, job no right strike. there coming back in that at bat. Bryson stop in the box now as he leaves that one up high. In the air left field. Sawinski settles under it and makes the catch. And there's one away. So digging in now for Philadelphia, no Brett left. Phillips. Good yeah. defender. He's been inconsistent yeah. offensively. In there and it's on one. Phillips measures six feet even, 29 years old, nope. and he was a sixth round draft pick back in 2012. And the righty deals. And now the count one and two after the swing and the miss. Stubbs, the base runner at first with one out. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Sawinski under it. And there's two down. Good time. <laughs> now batting the third baseman, Allen. Back to the top of the lineup. And now for the Phillies, Alec Bohm. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Gathers and throws to first. Good play. And that is the inning. One left for Philadelphia. They trail it here 2 0. And welcome back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Garrett Cooper. The wind and the pitch. Fouled off down the right side. And a pitch. Outside. Swing and that one hit. Yeah, baby! The line. It's there, it's gone, and that is. Way to go, here. Cooper! Yeah! He'll touch them all. His seventh home run of the season. It's 3 0. Singy, this is a little bit of a surprise. A guy known for line drives hits one over the fence. Well, if you're a little too early, you'll get some elevation in the ball, get out of the ballpark. For him, it's kind of a mistake. But you know what? When you have such a good approach, every now and then you're going to run into one. Very nice. So next to the plate that. for Pittsburgh, Rodolfo Castro. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. On a line, out towards center. Marsh pulls it in, and there's one away. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you now hit it too hard and the right at someone. Right You're looking for one of those loop oh, hits no. to get a knock sometimes. In the air, pretty Back. deep out to center field. Marsh moves under it. Shit. And he makes the catch. And there's two away. On the mound, he's got to remember his offense can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. Ripped on a line to center. Right Drops there. into the glove. <laughs> and that is the third out of the inning. Cannonball coming. It's now 3-0. Yeah. You're dialed into the show. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the fourth, fourth and now three. Oscar Gonzalez. The designated hitter. Oscar. Yeah, the right hitter back to work. Here's a strike. That one clips the outside corner. No balls, two strikes. Oh, 
ground ball left side and foul ball. Hacks and misses. Yeah. It's a strikeout. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch, tailing away from the hitter, <laughs> away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Here's Bryce Harper. Fly to left his first time up. There's a strike. Chris Bryce Harper would be one of the guys considered a face of baseball. He was also a face on the cover of MLB The Show back in 2019. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. Not a bigger or better game than that, and kids love playing it. I like playing it after we finish here. Yeah, I like the announcers. Ball one there. Yeah, one not pretty much a great game. I'm looking forward to 24. Rip to third and yeah. Well, baseball nice can be cruel, game, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes yeah. away. He did everything oh. right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, CJ Crone. Lace to right center base hit. And that's gonna oh. roll to the wall. Now he'll turn for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. First pitch fastball, a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. And there's a base hit. Crone is waved home. The throw in, but it's offline. And it's now a two run game. Waste no time there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. That one's in there, 0 on 1. That clips the corner. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. The one two stays alive. Here comes a pitch. That's the third. Hayes to first. And they get bit over for the out. That's the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. New inning getting started. And now the Pirates leadoff man. Keep Ryan Hayes. The pitch. That one hammered center field. That's back. Go. And that ball is out of here. Way to go, Hayes. He flexes his boy. power with that swing, his ninth homer of the year, and they add on. It's 4 1. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. Lightning fast hands to be able to hit that velocity fastball on the inside part of the plate. In my experience, when you're looking out over the plate, allowing the ball to travel, it's pure reaction to hit a pitch in that location. That's a tremendous swing. Out to short. Whips it to first. Oh. One away. That ground ball may have him back on track Number after the homer. Number 10. Brian Reynolds, Brian. the next pirate Reynolds. to hit. One for two. Come on, Brian. And he swings Come and lifts on the deep Come center on. field. Marsh. Go. Going back. Go. And Go on. caught on the warning track. Not quite enough behind that one. And he hammered that to straightaway center oh, field. It's a deep part of the ballpark. Tell you what, that wind is blowing straight in. Got to be a big man if you're going to go through the wind of that part of the park. It just knocked that ball down. And first offering is fouled off. Left hand batter waits.
And a strike in there. Got him swinging. Oh. Pirates tack on one more on the solo home run. It's now 4 1. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back at Citizens Bank Park, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the catcher, Garrett Stubbs. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Well, these Phillies, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Next pitch inside, and it's one and two. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had them eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Reynolds oh, makes the grab yeah. one away. The batter, number five, shortstop. This is Bryson Stott. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. That's in there. That's strike two. And delivers outside. The wind of the pitch. And now the Ball count is everywhere. even. It's a good take. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. That misses the zone, and that's ball three. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so right. much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. And first offering is fouled off. Well, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. Hey. This has been a treat to watch. And a swing and a miss, hey. and that's that. Hey, three yeah. up, three down for Philadelphia. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Nick Nelson. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year, so the defense should be active. Here's the left fielder, Jack Sawinski. And there's a foul ball. You know, these Pirates, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've lost six hits at 90-plus exit velocity, and that doesn't happen by accident. Sharp grounder. That's there we through go. for a base hit. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. So up next, Garrett Cooper. His righty lefty splits there. Run around the move. And that one oh, hammered. On again. Going back. Again. Back to more. And caught on the warning track. Oh, man. Thought that was a no doubter. Like the wind was that holding good. that in this ballpark. Pippers on fire tonight. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Rodolfo Castro. Rodolfo Castro. Running, 
Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Strike in there. Throw to second. Great jump. Sawinski, the runner at second with one away. And he's down 0-2 oh. as he swings through it. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Gregory Soto, the southpaw, is throwing and getting that sinker dialed in. Sanchez getting cranked up as well. There we go. And a seed into center. Come That's on, a home, base hit. Runner from second crosses the plate. Yeah. It's 5-1. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Runner on at first with one gone. Next to hit, Travis Darno. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. And first offering is fouled off. These two offenses can put up runs in a hurry. And here it comes. Runner on the go again. Out front, rip foul. The pitch. Runner on the move again. Line go. drive, base hit right center field. And that's going to go. roll the ball. Castro coming home. Cut off. Now a three go ball. Go. It's off yeah. line. The run comes in. It's 6-1. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of the stick. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. Come on, Cut. Yeah, he swings and misses, oh, and it's one. nothing at one. Man at second. Inside, just missed. Still only one out here in the inning. Drilled out towards left what center field. That's swing. well struck. That one is gone. Yeah, catch! His 14th Way of the go, year. Brother. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 8-1. Two of them Phillies fans in the background. What a swing. Well, that was. I ain't dropping smack. Phillies is my number two team, y'all. So. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Christopher Sanchez gets the ball now. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the bump. Out towards right Ash center field. It. Harper ranging after it. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And there are two outs. Connor Joe, the next pirate to hit. That's hard hit on the line. And that ends the inning. Four runs in the inning on four hits, no errors, and no one left on. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Pirates eight and the Phillies one. Bottom of the sixth inning, and now it's Alec Bohm. The third baseman. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even oh, yeah. shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. And the right hater deals. They say it went. Well, a big lead like this is comfortable many times, but not when these two teams are matching up. You got to continue to keep your head down, play catch with that catcher, and just try to move through this lineup. The punch out there. There it is. And one out now. Committed to that breaking ball just a little too much and couldn't pull the bat back in time. Once you get it going, it can be so tough to stop the momentum with that barrel. Good pitch. Had him fooled. Gonzalez in the box again. Takes a strike. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. One down, base is empty. 
That's and a takes low for ball one. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Ball. Next offering Ooh. misses, and the count's Good even at two. two strikes. Into left center for a base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. And that's a double. All over that one right there. This is why hitters work so no hard on driving the ball gap to gap in batting oh. practice. There's a lot of room out Harper. there. If you can rip one into oh, that one. open space, it usually means extra bases. Harper up to the plate for the third time as he looks at one down low. That one misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. Into center. Reynolds gets under it. Puts the squeeze on it. Out number two. Now batting. CJ Crone stands in for the Phillies. Crone. Right down the chute. It's 0-1. Gonzalez at second with two down. Got the bat going oh, too oh, soon at strike two. For a guy that's been swinging the bat well all game long, that was a pretty that's ugly pretty swing right there. Yeah, that's, I'm sure it's like, that's the ugliest swing I've ever Righty seen. Righty delivers. Swing yeah. and there, struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the and heater. Philly strand one. Wow. It's still an eight one ball game. I think I still had the ball in my hand when he's <laughs> top of inning number seven. All right, uh, Miles is getting tired, so. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Ryan Reynolds. Sanchez, back to work. Oh, that got away from him. Wow. And he's going to reach on a hit-by-pitch to lead off the inning. Do you uh, have any memorable hit-by-pitches yourself? Maybe high school, college? No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. Base knock center there we field. Go. Could be extra bases. Throw into third. And the throws offline, safe at third. Now back, left fielder. Jack Sawinski, Jack. the next pirate Sawinski. to hit. Ground ball to Bohm. The feed for one. They get the out, but the run scores on the twin killing. First and third, nobody out. You're thinking you've got it lined up for a pretty big inning right here. So that double play is pretty deflating. They get the run in, but now they're starting all over. That one is absolutely belted. Come on, baby. There. Come on, baby. And that one is off the top of the wall. And wow, oh. he puts on the brakes at first. So just a two-out single. Fly, well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. Run around the goal. And a base hit into right center field. Now batting the catcher. Here's the Pirates catcher now, Travis Darno. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. Ah, Swing and a bouncer. Cool. Slings the first, and that is that. Back here in Philadelphia, oh, digging in, well, Brandon really. Marsh. Oh, yeah. My bad. The center fielder. And now they turn to Giovanni Gallegos. Now, compared to some days, this is a pretty low Number leverage 66. appearance for him, so. He should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. The 0-1. And fouled off. And that one is lifted in the air. Diving. Gets down. Could be extra bases. Throw to second. Not wow. in time. He's there easily. I'm trying. Really nice job. A two-strike <laughs> hitting in that at bat. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Biggio in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. That one finds the corner. And a count even at one. No outs. Runner on second. 
On the corner for a strike. And the count one and two. Runner leads away at second. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Yeah. March around third. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Really nice job staying up the middle with his oh, approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. The 1 0. Now 1 and 1. One ball, one strike. Biggio gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And it's even up. And that's too high. 3 2 now. Got it by him. Yeah, baby. Just a mid 90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm Nobody. sure he'd love Number another five. swing at it because. It was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens? Stodd, the next to hit, takes ball one. Slap the other way, foul. The 1-1. One, one. Outside corner, there's a strike. Two strikes. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Man at first. Now the left fielder, Brett Phillips. And that one Ooh, just misses. A ball and no strikes. Hey. And a strike. The one one. Late that time, and it's strike two. Do that right. fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. Yeah, See if he continues to climb. Ah. Check swing. Now an appeal to third. No swing. He held up Carl Dixon with the call there. Right-handed reliever. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Yeah, Struck him out. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Pirates nine and the Phillies two. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. We're at the top of the eighth. To the plate now for Pittsburgh is the DH. Andrew McCutcheon. That one out to right. Harper ranging after it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's one down. So the lineup flips over. Key Brian Hayes, the next pirate to hit. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Bounced up the middle, and that chance handled. Not in time, he legs it out. Tough play a nice backhand stop. Had to be perfect with the exchange and throw to get the out, but it looked like he had to dig in there a little deeper, like he was trying to get a split run, finger run, run. grip. Run around the goal. Out in front and foul to the left side. Steel, steel, Runner steel. goes again. Up the middle. Stop. Over to first. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Brian Reynolds, the next pirate to hit. Brian Reynolds. And a foul ball. Runner. Two outs. Runner takes off for third. On the ground to short. Zips it to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Pirates leave one, but they still lead it 9-2. Welcome back. Bottom of the eighth. And now it's going to be Alec Bohm. The third baseman. Pitch. Alec. That's inside. inside 
And that is in for a strike. And one and one. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing. Took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work. Shorten up that swing a little bit. Do whatever it takes to get on base. Oh, Stacks good. another awesome. run. And there's one down. The designated hitter. Oscar, Oscar Gonzalez will hit next. Gonzalez. That's a strike. And it's 0-1. In the air out to center. Reynolds makes the grab for the second out. Two outs, base is empty. Bryce Harper to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Smoked on the ground a second. Over to Cooper. Inning over. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. They're down seven. It's 9-2. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Gregory Soto. Well, walks a penny. Big issue for him this year, so I expect these hitters to be patient up there. And the pitch. Cruz now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. The 1-1. Way out front for strike two. That one blasted deep Come on, to right. Get out of here. Get out of here. The wall. Grabs it right up against the wall. Oh, maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Here's the left fielder, Jack Sawinski. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Soto, in his sixth season, he features a sinker, a four seamer. A slider, and he works in a changeup. Action in the pen down there. Jose Alvarado, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Swing and a miss. Oh. One and two. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, oh. that is a very tough pitch to adjust to. And now the first baseman, Garrett Cooper. He's already homered here in this one. That one the other way. In plenty of time to first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. No run. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the ninth. And here's the first baseman, C.J. Crone. A new arm into the game, the righty, David Bednar. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Puts it away for the out. Good grab. Brandon Marsh digs in now. First pitch, and he just misses. At the belt and fires. Left field. Sawinski has this one sized up. Makes the catch. Good deal. Two One more, guys. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Kevin Biggio stands in for the Phillies. Little chopper rolls foul. He swings and fouls one off. Two down, nobody on. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. And the 0-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Down to their final strike. Rocketed out towards right center. And he's got it. Good game. Right the with the rubber match of this three-game series. 
offensive explosion today for these guys. They gave up a few runs, but they had more than enough firepower to turn this one into a blowout. This one ends the final 9-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB here now, The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shambi. Talk to you soon. Nine runs on 15. All right, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope y'all have a wonderful night, and we will catch you on the next one for St. Louis.